Hello, I'm Dr. Melissa and welcome to today's class. We are going to be focusing on our core and our pelvic floor strengthening just in a different way. We're gonna be all over our mats in today's class. If you happen to have a yoga block, go ahead and grab that. If not, no worries. Go grab your mats and let's do this. Let's get started. Just come into tabletop position today. Starting on those hands and knees and just start to shift your hips to the left and then shift them to the right. To the left. Oh, maybe you linger a little bit longer on one side. Oh my goodness. And then to the other, maybe you sink those hips back. There's so many hills where we're staying in Costa Rica right now. My legs are like, no, thank you, I'm done. <laughs> oh, goodness. Good, go to the left. Nice, up and over to that right-hand side, last one. Bring it back through towards center. We're gonna press round everything out, pull your chin in towards your chest, round it out, and then sink that chest down, lift your head. Round everything out, pull your chin towards your chest and then sink that chest down. Lift your head. Back towards neutral, take your left leg, scoot that left leg back behind, float through the back heel. We're gonna take your right arm, reach your right arm straight up towards the sky. Keep pressing through the back heel, nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it all go. Awesome, one more breath here, really press through that left heel. Exhale, let it go. Everything comes back down. Let's just switch to the other side. So take your right leg, scoot that right leg straight back behind. Press through your heel, press into the top of that left shin. Left arm goes up towards the sky. We're gonna hold here for two breaths. Keep pressing through that back heel. Nice breath in. Exhale, see if you can twist and press into that right arm a little more. Awesome, one more breath in. Exhale, twist just a little bit more. Left arm comes back down. And then if you have your block and want it, we're just gonna place it at the front of our mats. You're gonna take your right leg, scoot your right leg straight out in front. And we're gonna think of that right knee driving forward over our toes, left leg goes back. And you can use that block if you want. You can come down to your hands, you can come down onto your elbows. Try not to let that leg roll all the way out to the side. We wanna keep the right foot flat and that knee going forward and our left leg going back behind us. If you would like, you can come up into a low lunge or trying to lengthen through the crown of your head. Maybe if you're up on your toes, you rock forward and you rock backwards. Nice, gentle breath in. Ooh. Exhale, let it go. Nice, take one more breath in here. If the leg is up, we're gonna lower that leg back down and you're gonna take your right knee, let your right knee, you're gonna push it, let it fall out to the side. You can roll onto the outside edge and then slowly bring that leg back up. Inhale, let that right leg fall out to the side. Exhale, pull that leg back up and maybe it just bumps into your right. Good, inhale, open the right leg out to the side. One more time, pull that right leg back up. From here, we're gonna start to walk our hands towards the center of our mat. Your left shin goes behind you. Take your left hand down to the mat and you're gonna take that right arm, lift your right arm straight up towards the sky. You might have to readjust, I'm gonna scoot my block. Sweep that right arm all the way up overhead. Nice, gentle breath. We're reaching through those right toes. I'm gonna offer a couple different options with this one. So we're nice and strong with that left arm. Take your right arm, switch, switch, sweep your right arm underneath, rotate from that rib cage, and then inhale, peel, lift back up one more time. Sweep underneath, rotate, peel yourself, come back up, nice breath in. 
Okay, option. You can take that left knee and kind of hover your left knee, maybe scoot it in front a little bit, but still stay on your knee. You could press the hips and scoot that left leg straight out in front. We're gonna peel the chest, lift that chest open. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, we're gonna hold one more breath here. Exhale, slowly lower everything all the way back down. We're gonna turn back to face the front of our mat. You're gonna take that left leg, hook your left leg over your right. Pull that right leg in nice and close. You can take that left hand, bring your left hand behind you. Option, that right elbow can hook and pull it in. You can take your right hand to the outside of that leg and twist. We're working on that mobility in our mid back, trying to open that up if we've been sitting a lot, if we're on our computers or driving, that area tends to get really tight. Nice gentle breath in, exhale, twist a little more. You're gonna stay here, continue to keep working on your breath, but I want you to take your right ear and just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Think of the left shoulder pulling down a little bit and we'll just gently rock our head forward and backwards. Nice, just gently rock forwards and backwards. Good job. You're gonna take one more breath in here. And then inhale, pull that head, come back up. Turn your head one more time to look over that left shoulder. Nice breath into the sides, the front, the back. And then exhale, slowly let it go. Awesome. We're gonna unwind everything and take your right hand, bring your right hand back behind you. We're gonna keep rolling onto our right side. Again, so a couple different options. That left foot is gonna stay on the ground. You can bend your right knee and press those hips coming up into a side plank. That right foot can stay out and you can press those hips, lifting all the way up. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, slowly let it go. Press those hips up just a little bit higher. And then keep spinning to face. Now we're gonna be the back of the mat and just come into a plank. You can do plank on those toes, plank on your knees, lengthen out. And we're gonna slowly lower everything all the way down. Inhale, pull yourself forward, open up Cobra. Option, child's pose or down dog. Wherever you're at, two gentle breaths in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, take another nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. And you're gonna slowly, when you're ready, make your way towards the front of your mat. Keep pressing down into those feet, lift those arms, come all the way up overhead. Hands come down towards heart center. You're gonna take your right leg, scoot your right leg straight back behind. It doesn't have to be a really big wide stance, but you're thinking of those legs lengthening, driving down into the feet. Sweep those arms, lift all the way up overhead. Rib cage stays over your pelvis. You're lengthening up through those fingertips. Nice breath in. Good, take one more breath here. Back heel spins down, lift up and back, reverse your warrior. Take your right ear to your right shoulder, lengthen through those fingertips. That left knee, we're lengthening through the front of the thigh. Use your breath. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, take one more breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, pull yourself, come back up. Start to spin back to face the front of the mat. And we're gonna take off. So the left leg does all of the work. You can toe tap coming into a kickstand with tree pose. You can bring your foot to your calf or that foot can come into your inner thigh. We really wanna root down through that left leg, squeeze your glute, spread your toes and those hands come in towards heart center. This right knee, we're rotating that hip back behind us, thinking of pushing that knee back behind. Nice, gentle breath in. 
exhale let it go keep spreading your toes rib cage over that pelvis use your breath sometimes when we're trying to balance we can hold our breath we can grip our toes and it's just our body looking for stability with our core and pelvic floor so keep using that breath now we're going to take both arms sweep both arms straight out in front Ooh. and if you're if you're going to know you want your block we're going to go into half moon if you want your block time out grab your block and just place it at the front so come back into that tree pose both arms out in front take your right arm sweep your right arm back behind you rotate from your rib cage keep grounding down through that left foot nice breath and we're going to hold for two more breaths here hello left glute maybe it's just mine <laughs> good take one more breath in here exhale let it go so from here slowly making your way into half moon so that left hand can start to come down to your block you can tap that right leg back you can float it straight back right arm can go to the sky right arm can go to your hip we're trying to lift up out of this left hip spread your toes press down through the mound of your big toe keep lengthening out through everything gaze can be at the ground at the side or up at that top arm if you want a little more core maybe you hover woo, almost fell there and that's okay if you fall it's all right you get right back up that's how you learn that's how your body strengthens good keep reaching through those fingertips use your breath we're holding for five four three two last one slowly step it back we're gonna reverse your warrior lift up and back nice breath in come into extended side angle so take that left forearm down to your thigh right arm reaches overhead and we're peeling our rib cage towards the sky keep lengthening out press down into those feet use your breath exhale let it go nice take one more breath in here straighten out through that front thigh turn both feet to face the side we're going to lift those arms up overhead tap the fingers and then we're folding forward hands to your thighs your shin down to the ground you could also use your block we're wanting to create that length from our tailbone lift from the crown of your head now keep that left arm on the ground it could be on the thigh or a block and spin your chest open towards the sky take a nice gentle breath in and exhale let it go awesome take one more breath in here exhale sweep it back down press into that right hand take your left arm spin that left arm all the way up towards the sky rotating from your rib cage keep pressing down into those feet nice breath in exhale let it go awesome take one more breath in here exhale sweep everything all the way back down those hands can come to your hips pull yourself come all the way back up we're going to spin everything to face the right hand side pull your right hip back left hip forward lift that tailbone towards the sky and float come forward your hands come to your thigh we're going to lift the tailbone Ooh, feel more in that right back of your thigh and then tuck you're going to lift the tailbone and then tuck just gently moving in and out still lengthening through that crown for three two nice job last one and then we'll bend through the front knee those hands come down step it back come back into your tabletop keep pressing down into those hands lengthen out and let's just shift the hips like we did in the beginning shift them to the left and shift them to the right nice go left and right what's different maybe you kind of make your way backwards checking it out take one more circle or shift the hips left and right press up onto those hands lengthen out through the crown of your head and we'll take that left foot scoot your left foot in front if you know you want your block you can go ahead and grab the block again 
both hands come down to the inside of that left leg. That left knee, we're getting it to lengthen forward. Our right leg, we're wanting to go backwards. You can come onto the hands, you can scoot down to the elbows. We just wanna make sure that leg isn't rolling out. We want that knee going straight. It's okay if it scoots over those toes. And you might notice there's a really big difference from your left side and your right side. This side is so much easier for me. Whew. And just use your breath to sink in a little bit more, gently rocking side to side. Nice, take one more breath in here. If you want, you can come up onto that knee, lifting up higher. Now the leg can be up or that leg can be down. We're gonna let the left knee fall all the way out to the side. Exhale, pull it back to center, foot goes flat. Inhale, the leg goes out to the side. Exhale, pull that leg back up. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it back up. Awesome, one more time, let it fall out and then bring that leg back up. Lower that leg down if it wasn't already down. And then we're gonna slowly walk our hands over towards the right hand side. That right shin spins behind us and we're gonna take our right hand to the back of our mat. We're coming into that side plank. Left toes reaching, we're lengthening out. Use your breath. Keep pressing the hips, ribs are stacked over that pelvis. We'll sweep that Left arm underneath, reach behind you, really use that rib cage. Press, lift back up towards the sky. Sweep that arm, come underneath. Inhale, peel your chest, lift back up. Nice work, keep using that breath. Now option, so you can stay here and kind of just scoot your right knee out in front a little bit. You can really press those hips up and take that right foot all the way out, opening up into your fallen star. Press those hips up towards the sky, use the breath. And then slowly drop those hips down, spin back to face the front of your mat. We're gonna take that right leg, scoot your right leg on top of your left. Lengthen through that left heel, hug your right leg in. Take your left elbow to your right knee. Take your left hand to your knee or take the left arm to the outside. Any or all options work. We're trying to open up that hip. Ooh, right hand comes behind. Turn to look behind you and use your breath, the ins and the outs. Opening up your hips. Gentle with that breath. Now you're gonna take your left ear, drop your left ear to your left shoulder, and then just gently rock your head forward and backwards. Right shoulder pulls down away from your ear. Nice work for three, two, last one. Pull yourself, come back up, twist to that right hand side again. Take one more breath here. Right hand comes back to the center. Take your left hand back behind you. We're gonna keep rolling onto our left hand side. That right foot is facing the side. You can bend that left knee or press straight up, opening up into that side plank. Press those hips straight up towards the sky. Nice job, take one more breath in here. And then we're gonna spin back to face the back of our mats. Plank pose on our knees, on our toes. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Lower everything all the way down. 
Inhale, pull yourself forward, open through the front of your chest. Option, child's pose, or you can come into down dog. Pick what's feeling best for you, and that might be different from what it was yesterday and what it's gonna be tomorrow and what it was last time we went through. It's really listening to your body. Nice, take one more breath in here. And then whenever you're ready, you can walk those feet forward or just come back to the front of your mat. Pressing down into those feet. Spread your toes, reach those fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, lift those arms, come up. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Take your left leg, scoot that left leg straight back behind. Driving into the feet, really activating them. Lift those arms, come up overhead. Crescent lunge. And maybe you have to shift forward, shift backwards, press the back heel down, squeeze your glutes. Make those small little adjustments so that you feel this a little differently. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, take one more breath in here. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna take that back heel, spin your back heel down, lift up and back, reverse your warrior. Nice and strong through that back left foot. Breathe into the right side of your rib cage. Let that right knee lengthen forward as you're rotating from the hip to the outside. Good, take one more breath in here. And we'll slowly pull ourselves, come back up as slow as you can, Christian. You know we're going to tree pose. So take your time finding your tree with the kickstand, foot to your calf, your inner thigh. Drive the right foot down, rib cage over your pelvis, that left knee pushing back behind you. It's all the little movements in between getting us to that end pose. What muscles you're feeling, what you're noticing. Squeeze the glutes on the right, keep spreading your toes. Nice job. Now we'll sweep both those arms straight out in front. Take your left arm, reach your left arm back behind you, rotating, reach from those fingertips. And see if you can twist just a little bit more. Awesome, take one more breath in here. Okay, we're going to half moon. So you'll slowly maybe tap, tap, tap that left foot back. Start to reach your right arm down to the ground. Maybe that left arm goes to the sky or your hip. Take your time getting into that half moon. Your left leg can be tapped on the ground. You could have a finger on the wall. Find what allows you to get into this pose that works best for you. Now we keep lifting up out of that right hip. Your gaze can be at the ground, the ceiling, and you're pressing through that back left heel wherever it is. You can hover those fingers, getting a little more core. You can keep pressing into that left hand, uh, right hand <laughs> for more length. Ugh, almost got through cat last with my left and rights. Nice work, we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, last one, as slow as you can, we're going into that reverse warrior, step it back. Lift up and back, nice breath in. Lengthen through those fingertips. Extended side angle, take your right forearm down to your thigh. Left arm reaches overhead, keep spinning so we're stacking left shoulder over the right. Nice, one more breath in here. 
And then pull yourself, come up, turn both feet to face the side, tap those fingers overhead, and we're folding forward. Hands to the ground, down to your block. Maybe there to the ankles or your shins or your thighs. Lengthen out through the crown of your head. Press into that right arm as you take your left arm towards the sky and we're gonna hold here, hold for a breath. Nice, one more. Take that left arm back down. Right arm goes towards the sky. Bring it back down. Hands come to those hips. Pull yourself. Come back up. Spin those feet back to face the left side of our mats. Straighten out through your left leg. And you might hop that right foot in just a little bit. Square those hips. Lift your tailbone. Float. Come forward just till you feel a little pull in the back of the thigh. Once you get here, lift that tailbone and tuck. A little lift and tuck. Nice, for three, two, last one. Bend through that front knee, both hands come down to the ground. Step back, come into your plank on your knees or on those toes. Exhale, lower everything all the way down. Inhale, pull yourself forward, open up through the front of your chest, gentle squeeze of those glutes. And then option child's pose or down dog, picking what works best for you. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. One more breath here. And then pull yourself, come forward, and let's come down onto our backs. If you've got that block, just bring the block with you. Lowering everything all the way down. If you want a little bit more for the base of your skull, you can take that block and place the block behind the base of your skull. And just gently rock the head to the left and to the right. We're gonna let the knees fall over towards that right hand side. Maybe you bring your arms into a cactus arms. Maybe you turn your head over towards the left. If you've got the block, you can do little pulses just to the left. And it's just very gentle, it's not a big stretch. Come back to your breath. Gentle breaths, the side of the rib cage, watching your breath in, watching that breath out. Awesome job, take one more breath in here. And let's bring the legs up and over to the other side. Turn your gaze to look to the right. Just gentle breaths. Maybe you're doing a little pulsing with the head. Kind of checking in, reflecting on how everything feels after our practice. Awesome. Take one more breath in here. And let's bring everything back up to center. Lengthen out through those legs. You can move that block off. We'll sweep those arms, lengthen out through those fingertips, reach through your toes. Nice big breath in. And exhale, <sighs> let it all go. Slowly bring those arms back down by your side. Slide your legs back in. And then we'll gently rock onto your side and come all the way up finding a comfortable seated position.
We'll take one last cleansing breath and lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center, thanking your bodies for your practice. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.